to bite-sized snacks, nothing says California like these Dynamo's table grapes. These grapes, which were often called nature's candy because of their intense sweetness, flourish in the Golden State where they are handled with care by nearly 500 farmers, many of them families with generations tied to the land, like Nick Dulcich of Yakov Dulcich and Sons. His family started their farming operations in Kern County in the late 1950s and haven't stopped since. And having practically grown up farming grapes, he knows a good one when he sees it. Grapes are our life. When you go out there and you know what you see is good, it's kind of an inherent quality, I think. Beautiful grapes. To a green grape, there's a hue to it. There's a vanilla cream color to it that, that tells me it's ready. On a red grape, it's got a, it's got a brightness and a vibrancy to it that it's hard to explain, but when you look at it, you know it. We're picking up to as high as 50 to 70,000 boxes a day during our peak. And we'll produce over three to four million boxes, depending on the yield and the year. Oh my God. Some of the world's finest table grapes. They're so sweet. Yeah. So when you see these guys, what does this make you feel as a farmer? Very proud. Really? Very proud and in, in, a, in an elite group of growers yeah. that can produce such fruit. California provides the nation and a lot of the world as well with this popular snack. 99% of all grapes commercially grown in the United States are grown in California. And with favorable temperatures like this year, the grape harvest is looking superb to growers like Nick. They work hard to ensure the grapes you see at stores are, pardon the pun, the best of the bunch. California grapes are world famous for their taste, I would say. When they say these grapes are a sweet treat, they're not joking. They measure the sugar level by using this small device called a refractometer, where sugar is calculated in a measurement called bricks, and these grapes are practically off the charts. We can do a sugar test right in front of your eyes and see what the bricks are. 21 and a half sugar. That is pure nature's candy right there. Heat sizes fruit and heat sweetens fruit. And that's why the valley is such a good place to grow table grapes. We have, we have a, if we have a dry spring, a hot summer, a cool fall, and we want a wet, cold winter. That is why the Central Valley is, produces some of the best tasting table grapes in the world. And California as a whole is one of the largest table grape producers in the world, producing about 100 million boxes of grapes each year. Harvest goes a little like this. Workers come through and trim the bunches off the vines. They inspect and clean them up, and then they are packed into bags and shipping containers bound for the nearby Dulcich headquarters. Here their temperature is carefully controlled to ensure they stay cold and their natural sweetness is locked in. And when the grapes arrive to our local grocery stores, there are some telltale markers to picking out a good one. Look for a consistency of color. That'll kind of tell you the bunch is finished off. And don't be afraid to, to pop one in your mouth and see if you like the flavor. Variety is the spice of life at Nick's Farm, where you name the grape and they're probably growing it. Red, green, or black, they're harvesting 14 varieties of grapes during the season, and now each one can easily be seen in these new bags the farm has recently debuted in various retail locations across the state. Being innovative, growing a quality product, and keeping the family tradition alive, it's all in a day's work for this farmer. We have a uh, commitment to excellence, if you will. Uh, we're trying to do the best job that we can do year in and year out and try to be consistent with our customers. And uh, a reputation is hard to earn and easy to lose. <laughs>